<laughs> and speaking of pests, sometimes you have to be one to get a record deal in the music business. We're up to part three of our series, Get Signed, and today we'll meet a Boston-based band who are close to doing just that. They're called Chucklehead, a funny name for a strange group, but when it comes to landing a deal, they're dead serious. We're at the, the, the one of the more infuriating stages, which is the stage right before being signed, and the closer you get, the farther it seems. Chucklehead! Getting a record deal is a weird thing. Um, you have to you have to be like a debutante. You have to make yourself beautiful or for your shooter and have them move you. Uh, we feel like we shouldn't be going out trying to make the date. But it's better to be desirable than to be desperate. I first heard about Chucklehead through another member of the company who happened to see them in Boston and brought back a videotape. And he showed me this videotape of all these guys on stage dressed up like complete lunatics, grooving away, driving away, playing the sickest funk licks I'd ever heard. Our sound is hip-hop funk music. It is a party with horns where the audience is, is the ninth member of the band and the music doesn't happen without your participation. I just was floored. The, the energy in the room, uh, the, the music, the, the overall vibe that was coming off the stage was, was changing the chemistry of me and of everyone in the room. <laughs> Chucklehead and live performance uh, is a three-ring circus. Um, there are a million things to look at, and sometimes we tell you what to look at, and other times we don't, and you have to just watch the whole thing going on. After I saw the band, I met with them real briefly, and I said, you know, dig your stuff, I'd like to hear it, you have a tape. The album that we cut uh, is, you know, could be an enormous success, uh, both artistically and commercially, and we're just waiting for somebody to recognize that. It was very much patterned after their live show, in which the songs are 10, 15 minutes long, and they're great. But I think what they really need, and what was lacking from the demo, was to shave that down to a listenable song, take their 15-minute jam, and put it into a four or five minute piece. There's a struggle between let's be ourselves and hope that somebody comes by because they, they think that what we're doing right now is it. Uh, or do we need to adapt ourselves a little bit so that they'll, they'll go with us and then we can go back to what we are. This Chucklehead tune is working for me because it's got, you, you can feel all the parts coming and going. It's got a verse, a chorus, another verse, another chorus, a break. And it's still Chucklehead. Now here's a Chucklehead song I really like as a groove and as an idea. But as a song, it doesn't evolve the way Funky Bus does, where it has a part, a beginning, a middle, and an end, a part leading another part, taking you somewhere that you weren't when it started. Great groove on this tune, but it just keeps going and going and going. And I know that they can fine tune it. I feel like what the music business wants is what was a hit last year. I, I don't know if this is true because we don't know what goes up on the higher echelons, but I always picture people saying to their a and reps, get me living color. I want another living color. The idea for me is not to take Chucklehead and make it into something it's not. It's to be able to package it in a way that the world can swallow it. I think that what we're doing is, is, uh, is really uh, phenomenal. And, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that somebody is going to realize that and, uh, and pick us up. Chucklehead tells us now that they're talking to several major labels, but in the meantime, they didn't want to deprive their listening public. So they put out their own CD called Big Wet Kiss on their own label, Enough of My Butt Music. <laughs> but enough of this show. Next week, we'll find out all about life, sex, and death.